really wouldn't be here uh, tonight if it wasn't for the vision of our next and uh, last artist, Ken Perlman. Uh, Ken has uh, really got the formula down for uh, presenting banjo camps, and uh, this is really, I think, the best of all of them. And Ken and uh, Stan Werben, his partner, uh, I think we owe a round of applause to, to them for this great camp. So anyway, here is uh, Ken Perlman. Thank you. So, so uh, this mic is in the right relationship to the banjo? That's good. Well, it's, uh, gosh, it's hard to believe uh, we've gone through uh, two teachers' concerts. Uh, it's been a wonderful evening. We had such fantastic playing. It's been a real pleasure uh, work, uh, working for you folks this weekend and uh, getting a chance to meet quite a number of you. So uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, some of you may be aware that uh, I uh, had the uh, great honor of uh, spending quite a lot of time learning music from traditional musicians in uh, Prince Edward Island in Eastern Canada. And I'm going to play you some of that music. Um, so uh, I'm going to start out with a, a little medley, um, beginning with a, a march called Joe McGuinness's March by the great Cape Breton fiddler Carl McKenzie. And then uh, uh, two tunes from Western Prince Edward Island. The uh, first one is called the Bray Reel, and the second is called the Miramichi Fire. It was named for a forest fire in the uh, Miramichi River Valley of New Brunswick in uh, 1825. Thank you. 
Thank you.